Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna do a little get ready with me featuring this makeup look. I haven't done one of these in a while and I realized that I've been using a lot of products that I used to talk about, that I recently have talked about, and some that are completely new. So I really wanted to take the time to sit down today, get ready, and share them all with you. I revisited one of my tried and true foundations, the Il Maquillage, so we're gonna be talking about this today. But before we get into that, I want to quickly thank the sponsor of this video, Cuddle Plushy. They are an online retailer that sells a ton of quality cotton bath products. They have towels, robes, hair dry caps, bath curtains, and more. Organic cotton has a lot of benefits to the hair and skin. Everything is super absorptive. Did I say that right? Absorptive? And incredibly soft. I have a few items I wanna share with you really quickly. One being this robe. It gives me major hotel vibes, but it's 100% cotton. You can see here, it's very well made. It's excellent material. I've been wearing it a lot after I get out of the shower and when I'm getting ready for the day. It comes in a blue and a white. Honestly, I would love the white, but I'm a big bronzer girl, so oftentimes I get makeup all over my robes, and I don't wash my robe every single day, so the gray is nice because it disguises it a little bit. It's really comfortable, really lightweight, excellent material, and I have been loving it. There's also a couple others I want to share. This is one of their hair dry caps. I don't know about you, but when I get out of the shower, I love to throw my hair up in a hair towel specifically designed for the hair, and that's what this is. It has a little hood, and then the best part about it is that it has the little hook and the button so that it doesn't fall off of your head. favorite hair towels don't have this little feature and this makes a huge huge difference so I've been loving this lately so great even on days when you don't want to wash your hair you know it's not a wash day you can put your hair up in this while you're in the shower and it keeps it dry the last thing I want to share are these two diamond plush hand towels these I did get in white I like my hand towels to be white crisp clean they're super plush super absorptive look great in our bathroom these also come in three colors but like I mentioned I just think white is really sleek for the bathroom how much we use our hand towels like not only for our hands but like other random things I'm always grabbing a hand towel when I want to film my manicure videos and I'm so excited to have these beautiful white ones now because I never really had like a nice white hand towel and I think that manicures look best when filmed on white towels so stay tuned for that you'll probably see these in some upcoming videos I just want to mention that all of these are green products they're chemical free and environmentally friendly they have antibacterial and deodorant properties and are considered safe for those with skin allergies so I have been loving all of these. Cuddle Plushy was generous enough to send a discount code. If you would like to take 12% off your order, you can use the code AB12 um, at checkout and enjoy a nice little discount on me. All right, time to get into this makeup look and be sure to stay till the end of the video where I am announcing my second holiday slash 30K celebratory giveaway. I'm gonna be doing one giveaway every single week until Christmas and this is week two. All right, let's jump into this look. All right, let's put some makeup on this face ASAP. So I washed my face with my Kiehl's face wash. If you follow me on Instagram, I've talked about these Kiehl's products a lot. I have been using them for at least the last month and I'm almost out of all of them, but they're absolutely amazing. And I really think they've been working wonders for my skin. So I use the gel cleanser for all face types um, before I started this video. This is the ultra facial toner for all skin types. I just apply this. I have to give credit where credit is due. My brother recently turned me on to Kiehl's. Um, he was saying how much he loved it and how amazing it worked for him. I had the opportunity to partner with Macy's Beauty and they allowed me to pick pretty much any skin or makeup products that I wanted and there was a Kiehl's skincare set. So that's what I chose and I've been using that pretty much every single day since it arrived. So it's that gel cleanser, this toner, the creamy eye treatment with avocado, and then the ultra facial cream. So I'm gonna put the avocado treatment under my eyes. This is probably my favorite product of the bunch. It's just the most 
rich, luxurious under eye product. I have never really found an under eye product that I love. I, I literally just loaded on. But this one is absolutely fabulous. I put the remainder on my 11 lines and on my smile lines just to get it off my hands. And then I go in with the Kiehl's facial cream, which is honestly like empty. I don't know if you can see in there. There's like the tiniest little bit left. I'm gonna try to muster up enough for today. I did just receive some new skincare from another brand, but I was determined to use all of this before moving to another system. Skincare is tough. I get contacted by skincare brands probably more so than any other brand, but I turn most of them down because to really try and review skin products, you've got to use them for a long time. That's honestly, I think, the end of this. I don't think I could get another drop out of this if I tried. So hopefully that's enough for today. I like to rub the face lotion in first and then go back and dab in the eye cream. But yeah, very, very happy with the Kiehl's. This is definitely something I would repurchase. The kit I got, they were all minis. They came in like a little travel slash holiday gift set. So I'll link that below if you want to try it. It was a really great, really great buy. Then we're just going to lightly rub this in. Alright, on to the main reason I wanted to film this video. So over the past few months, I've barely been wearing much makeup at all. Just concealer, a little powder, some bronzer, maybe a tinted moisturizer or a BB cream. I really have strayed away from foundation. But in the last week or two, I've had a lot of appointments and some dinners and get-togethers with friends, and I've wanted to wear a little more than normal. So I pulled out one of my most controversial foundations, not really, the Il Maquillage. Now, I made two videos about this on my channel. The first one was me ordering it and using it for the first time basically using their $5 shipping program. I ended up sending it back and then I ended up ordering it again. <laughs> and after I reordered it, I made a whole nother video talking about why I did and why I still like it. And I thought it would be a good idea to come back on and let you know that I am still using it and I'm still really liking it. And after using it like three times in the last week, I just love this more and more every single time. So mine is in the shade 60. I just take this, pump it onto a foundation brush and just dab it onto my face and neck. And then I rub it in. Now this foundation is supposed to blend into your skin. It's supposed to perfectly match your skin tone. And I have to say, it really, really does. When you're applying it, you're kind of like, what is going on that looks a little light, but you're supposed to wait about five minutes before applying the rest of your makeup for it to truly set and develop. And in that time, you'll notice that it actually does change. It really does change and melts right into your skin. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend this. All right, perfect. Like I mentioned, I like to give it a few minutes just to settle in, let the color truly develop before going in with my concealer and other products. So while we're waiting, let me give you a quick little wedding update. I know I haven't been talking about it too much just because nothing has really been materializing. We've just done a lot of searching, reaching out, venue visiting. There was really nothing official to report, but I'm happy to say that we officially set a date. We picked a venue. It's starting to feel very, very real. It's so exciting. I'm honestly like over the moon that kind of that hurdle is over. That was probably the most stressful part just because of COVID and everything. Availability has been very limited. Restrictions are going up and down. COVID cases are going up and down. It's like, who knows what's happening? At one point we were dead set on having a destination wedding. Like we had gotten proposals from a ton of different resorts and we were like, this is it, forget it. We're just hopping on a plane. Whoever wants to come comes. And then we're like, all right, no, let's not do that. We've really explored a ton of options and I'm so happy with the venue that we chose. Everything is slowly coming together and I pray that it will be okay we'll be able to have our wedding and next year will be a lot better than this one for everyone's sake not just for our wedding but just for the world because a lot is going on in the world right now and we all need some positivity okay even after a few minutes it really does develop and complement your skin tone I, I don't know what's in their formula but I'm really impressed and when you add the rest of your makeup it's just it, it just gets better. But like I've mentioned in my other videos about Il Maquillage, you cannot use a primer with this. No, no, no. If you want your face to look like crap, put a primer on. I normally don't say that. Most times primers make a huge difference, um, but not with this product. This applies best over freshly cleansed and moisturized skin. Two concealers that I featured a few months ago that I'm still loving and using are the Maybelline Fit Me. This one is in the shade 05 Ivory. I'm gonna use this under my eyes, just as a little highlight area. Also right here, here, and down my nose. 
This one is in the shade 15 Light Ledger. And this I just put over any blemishes or acne scars, which right now I don't have too many of. But oh my gosh, last week did I have some. <laughs> last week my skin broke out the worst that it has in years. Might as well have thrown me back into the ninth grade. It was terrible. It was that time of the month. It was also election week. It was also the week after Halloween, so I was on a like leftover Halloween candy diet. There were a lot of contributing factors, I think, but I was a little nervous, to be honest. My skin had not been that bad in a very long time. I'm lucky that everything pretty much cleared up, but I am left with a few little scars and scabs that are kind of on their way out. The one thing that I tried so hard not to do last week was pop my pimples. I have known this, but it's always so hard to follow the rules. You really should not pop your pimples. And every time I pop my pimples, they just get worse. They just get bigger, they just get messier, they take longer to heal and disappear. So I have a new rule for myself that I will not pop any pimples. And honestly, I think that's why my skin looks so much better this week because I left them alone. If they developed a head, like they had a little white head on them, I would take one of my uh, my pimple tools, I have like a sharp little needle, and I would just poke it and drain it. But other than that, I did not pop them. That is so much easier said than done, but I promise you, if you're having skin issues, try to practice some restraint. You'll be really happy that you did. I feel like this light is so bright. Okay, from here we go into bronzer. This is the Airbrush Bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury. I've been using this a ton. It is quite dark, quite dark. This is in the shade 3, tan, and I like my bronzers dark. You just have to be careful when applying them because it's really easy to overdo it. Perfect, I love it. Um, one of the other bronzers I've been loving a lot lately is this Wet n Wild one. Of course, it's like all broken. Um, this one is their Color Icon bronzer in the shade Sunset Strip Tease. Sometimes I put this over it just a little bit to really bring it home, you know? This time of year, the more bronzer, the better. Moving into brows, I've been loving this Joa Brown pencil. I did a video with them on Instagram. It's amazing. It's just a tiny, tiny little pencil, but I'm actually all out of product. I've been using it so much. It's a nice, thin little pencil. But today I'm gonna use my e.l.f. I always have the e.l.f. pencil in hand. This is like $2. This is almost out too. This is the last of it. I've gotta get some more brow pencils. But uh, just fill these babies in a tiny bit to give them a more defined shape. Anyway, back to wedding stuff real quick. I really haven't been doing much dress shopping. I'm just picking that back up again now that we officially have a date and a place. You know, we know what time of year it is, what the vibe is going to be like, um, and I have a better idea going into these dress appointments. My mom's sister and I went to an appointment yesterday, and oh, it is so difficult because these dresses are just out of this world. I mean, everything is prettier than the next, and I haven't had that feeling yet like I definitely haven't found the dress but I think I'm getting closer to identifying the style that I like but it's crazy I don't know how people pick a dress I really don't there are so many options but I think you you just have to go with your gut um, I booked two more appointments for next week so that process is slowly beginning um, and hopefully sooner than later we can lock in a gown because I know that sometimes those take a while to not only come in but then be altered and all that so while I do think I have plenty of time I would rather get that done sooner than later okay next up Joa lineup liquid eyeliner I love this stuff I did another campaign with them for this most of you know I suck at liquid liner like I really 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 suck and many days I was wearing this on its own this is really easy to use when you're trying to create a wing Today, I don't really want a wing. I just want a thin line on my upper lid. Then I'm going to try to do my high line and my water line. Then some shadow. I feel like I feature this palette all the time. It's the Perfusion Bare Eyes. It's just a great great palette. Most days if I'm just at home, I'm not wearing eyeshadow, but this is like go-to everyday foundation look that I've been doing. Go light on the lid and then always a little darker in the crease. Then I like to take some of these darker colors, Clever and Zing. I kind of just combine those two and add it beneath my lower lashes just a little. I just love that effect. Okay, we are almost done on to mascara. You know I love my Maybelline mascaras. This is um, the Falsies Lash Lift. I like to pair it with the Lash Sensational. I do this one first, a generous coat. 
Then we're going to go in with the Lash Sensational. This wand is more of a comb, so it really lifts, separates, and coats your lashes, which is why I like using it second. I always take my eyeshadow brush that I use with the lighter shades, and whatever is left on the bristles, I just use to lightly contour my nose up top. I feel like it's the perfect... Uh, the perfect little tool. Last but not least, I'm going to do a lip. I've been loving balms and lip glosses lately, which is so unlike me. But I'm going to use my KKW Beauty Liner today. I love, love this one. And then this is the Kiehl's Butter Stick Lip Treatment. It has a sunscreen in it. Um, it's made with coconut oil and lemon butter. It's a tinted pink chapstick, basically. And I wear this all the time on its own. Um... But sometimes I wear it with my lip liner as well, which is what I'm going to do today. Just gives your lips a little light pink tint. And I would just leave this look as it is. But one more item. This is the OK Beauty Prep and Plump Tinted Lip Balm. I have been loving OK Beauty products lately. I have two that I use in the shower, a hair mask and a body scrub. Then a body lotion that smells delicious. It has a little shimmer to it. And then this product and a lip liner. I didn't use the liner today because it's a little light. But I do love this gloss, and it smells so, so good. So I'm just going to top with this to give it a little glow. Oh, it just smells like candy. I will be honest, it doesn't really plump your lips, but it does feel good and wear well. So I think that's it. That is it for this look. This is what I've been rocking lately, and I really, truly love it. I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set setting spray and just mist my whole face. generously and let that set. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I did mention I'm going to be doing one giveaway every single week until Christmas and last week I gave away an entire winter box from Olive in June. This week I'm going to be giving away some skincare. So I really want to mix it up every week. Makeup, nails, skin, home, there's going to be a little bit of everything. This week I'm sending this entire pixie box to one lucky winner. In here is their priming oil, under eye brightener, their lip brightener, and their brightening perfecter. I have loved the vitamin C products from Pixi. I use a lot of them regularly. I used their serum a ton last summer, their caviar balm, their face lotion, all of them. So I have a ton of these products, but I want to be able to gift some of them to you. So this is going to be the next giveaway. To enter, all you have to do is give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment below relating to anything that we talked about in this video, and be sure to click the link in the description box where you can enter your email to win. I don't mean to be annoying with this email thing, but it's the easiest way for me to get in contact with the winner and from those emails is how I select the winner. All of them go into a random generator, a name is picked, and that's how the winner is selected. So for a chance to enter this entire vitamin C set, make sure you follow those steps and good luck. I'm going to leave this giveaway open again for one week. It will close Sunday night at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and the winner will be contacted on Monday. You guys are the best and I will see you in my next one.